prize for the winner of tonight's encounter. Well, it okay. struck first on January 4th at this venue. They took game one. And uh, they took it quite handily as well. 87-72. The Belgian champions of Stender. They came roaring back on home court to stay alive on Tuesday. It's, uh, matches part of the play-in series after the regular season. Promete and Hapoel, Jerusalem, their series held up by uh, COVID protocols. But they too are playing for a place in Group K of the uh, round of 16. Unicaja of Spain, Cluj Napoca of Romania. They're waiting to see who they will take on in that group stage. On a standard. 85-64 winners on Tuesday. They were 30 points to five up after the first quarter, and that was uh, in part thanks to that man there, Anita Braima, the uh, Ghanaian. Levi Randolph top scored with uh, 21 points, although uh, slight worry for Ostendo when he went off early in the fourth quarter randolph is listed today dimitris conger he had a great game 20 points on tuesday phil booth 18 brimer 17 points harris Bratanovic wasn't able to contribute neither did uh, olivier trofontaine but uh, both those players could be back to boost the belgians this evening Well, they really were impressive. A couple of days ago, Ostenda, Igor Kea surely won't be as poor again. Deshaun Stevens and uh, Dalibor Illich were back on Tuesday. Hopefully they will be able to uh, perform a little better. Markel Starks, he was the uh, leading scorer. Last time out, 16 points. Nikola Tanaskovic got 11 in the in the end, but uh, a lot of those came late in the piece when the game was already decided. There is uh, no option tonight, no second chances. Both these sides winning three matches in the regular season group stage. They lost three as well. This series. Stands at one game apiece. Best of three series. So uh, will it be Igor Kea or Philo Ostenda who go through? Igor Kea with home advantage in Laktashi. Kai van der Verst and a uh, highlight reel pass. On Tuesday to set up Conger for a three. And Ostenda being introduced first. A veteran for them, Dusan Djordovic. And it's uh, Conger out next. Randolph is there. He was on the bike before the end of uh, game two after going off injured at the start of the uh, fourth quarter, but he had to be a doubt coming into this one. Mikkel Jantunen could play a part, the uh, young Finland international. And Daniel Zerja happy to have uh, plenty of options tonight. Although there was uh, some disruption on the way over because uh, Ostenda weren't allowed to take a chartered flight to Banja Luka, which is... Uh, Pretty close to Laktashi, but uh, the airport authorities there said there were uh, repairs to the runway at Banja Luka, so uh, Ostenda flew to Zagreb like uh, Igor Kea yesterday. 200 kilometer journey from uh, there to Laktashi.
And the officials from Italy, the Czech Republic and Lithuania tonight. There will be some uh, very important calls. We wish them all the best, as well as the players, because uh, this will be a tense matchup between these two. Last time it was very tight for uh, much of game one in Bosnia-Herzegovina from the last visit of Ostenda to this venue. The home side led by one after a quarter one. Ostenda led by three at the break, but uh, lost their way after that. Phil Booth and uh, Amida Brimer were not playing in game one. They came back into the team and did very well for uh, Dario Gerger in game two on Tuesday. The Belgian champions, the double winners last season in Belgium. Well, they put in a brilliant performance. They blew away Igo Kea right from the uh, start of the game. And uh, Igo Kea saying afterwards that game two was uh, pretty much done after the first quarter. Dalibor Ilic and Deshaun Stevens. Well, they have uh, missed one game already in this series, came back for game two. Hopefully, uh, they'll be even better for game three. Marko Balic is again standing in for uh, Dragan Bajic, the uh, Igor Kea head coach, still recovering from uh, back surgery. Uh, Milutin Latincic who took the uh, post-game press conference another of the assistant coaches at Igor Kea on Tuesday night in Belgium he said game two had to be forgotten about pretty quickly Igor Kea weren't going to dwell on it but uh, they did at least come back made the scoreline look uh, a bit more respectable having been down 50 points to 24 at the break. Losing by only 21 points in the end. And don't forget, the uh, games keep coming in the Basketball Champions League. Top 16, the round of 16 gets underway next week. Plenty of matches before then as well. But we uh, are getting ready for Top encounter between Igo Kea and Philo Ostenda, Tenerife and uh, Pina up next. The reigning champions, Hilda San Pablo Burgos, they're in uh, a game three clash as well later this evening against uh, Tarusha Faka of Turkey. So uh, there'll be lots of nerves around Europe. Wherever you're watching this one, we hope you enjoy the action. It should be uh, a close encounter, this one. Starks, really important player. The point guard for Igor Kea. And this, uh, Decent on Tuesday. He needs a bit more help from his teammates this evening. All ready to go then is uh, Amida Breimer of Ostenda, the Belgian side in red. Do or die, game three in the play-in series between Igo Kea of Bosnia-Herzegovina and Ostenda of Belgium. It is the home side, Igo Kea, 
who have the ball for the moment. Starks will be uh, calling the plays for them. And the uh, early three attempts coming in from Tay Waller. And Waller gets an interception there. Here goes Starks. Back outside. And this time, Igo Kea do get a three-pointer. Marco Yoshilo with the opening blow. Another turnover. They only had seven on Tuesday. Slow start for Ostenda, but they get away with that one. Came off the foot of uh, Dusan Djordjevic. Yoshino, nice handoff. Up went uh, to Sean Stevens, but again, the home team perhaps uh, not taking advantage there like they should have done. Levi Randolph, so good, calls the screen. He was brilliant on Tuesday. Djordjevic has to go for three, can't make it. Sluggish start from Ostenda. Starks trading passes with uh, Stevens. That is wonderful and a great finish too. What a start for Igor Kea. Here is Booth. Three attempts. No good that time. And Pierre Antoine Gillet. And he's showing how it's done. Tay Waller gives Igo Kea an eight point lead. First quarter of this first quarter of the game has gone very badly for Ostenda. That's better from Levi Randolph. Drew the foul, got two points. There's a chance to add another. As I said, it was a real worry. He went off early in the fourth quarter on Tuesday. He had played so well, 21 points Randolph got. It was uh, great to see him out there, although uh, Ndokea mightn't agree. The Ostenda captain called for a foul there. Djordjevic. Oh, good block. Great work by Brimer. Has some more work to do here. Up and under and in. Well, Stevens has started this game very well. Seven point lead. Gregor Kea. The fake. And the finish comes from Gillet. Yoshilo likes that matchup. And at one stage on Tuesday night, Marco Balic, the uh, Igor Kea coach, said target the number 20. Looks like they're doing so again tonight, but no points that time for the home side. Here's Randolph, the layoff, layup, I should say, is good. Starks gets a good screen that time from Stevens. 
Salibor Ilic goes to Waller. He was fouled. Randolph, the culprit. Three foul shots for Tabia Waller. 33 years of age now from uh, Manchester, Georgia, the number 24. Into the game now is uh, another American, James Robinson, wearing the uh, number eight shirt. Two more points. Nigo Kea. Now another chance for Igor Kea to uh, drive home their advantage here. Djordjevic makes way. They've had three turnovers already in the opening five minutes. And a reminder, both sides had only seven on Tuesday. Waller for Robinson. The floater. A little unlucky there. Good grab by Booth. Stevens was holding here. A very talented youngster, Kai van der Verst is uh, on courts. Look at that, great pass from him, Brimer. Seeing that one rattle out. Beautiful pass, Robinson for three and makes it. Point lead for Igo Kea. Timeout called in this first quarter. Deciding match in this uh, three game series. The play in for the round of 16. But there we are soft. Again, we are soft everything. Low post soft. Coming off the screen soft. We don't fight. Then they call stupidity, two fouls, but it's nothing. But you will get all of them, but we need to play through a patience between offense. If we don't have straight this execution, go a bit side to side as we agreed before a game. A. We cannot turn this is one for the highlights reel. No look pass behind the back from Alexa Radanov. And uh, Robinson the, nailing the three. Uh, go with the zipper, Beautiful. Eight. Eight, yeah. Great execution Come from both players. Well. Come off. Uh, Levi screen. If they switch that, yeah, read to slip immediately. Kai slip corner. Levi, you do it. Well, if you weren't able to hear what uh, the Ostender coach Dario Gerge was saying, he was telling his players that everything is too soft at the moment, being outfought in every area. Wants his team to be uh, a little bit more patient. Waller has five points for uh, Igor Kea. Randolph has five for Ostenda. Mistake here, Robinson. Brimer can't get back in time. Sloppy enough play by Van der Verst. And Robinson with uh, back to back baskets. He is now joint leading scorer. Five points for him, 10 point lead. Frigo Kea. And it's been cut into by Randolph. First three pointer of the game for the visiting side. 
And they get a steal now as well. Randolph on the end of that pass. Here is Randolph. Gillet wants it. Randolph under pressure there. Tuesday in game two, Ostenda led 17-5. Illich, that one lips out. Hugo Kea just uh, couldn't handle Ostenda in the first quarter. Last time out, 30 points to five down. Late in that quarter, they had uh, a bit of a surge to get it back to 30-12, but the game was done. On that stage, more or less, certainly at half-time, 50-24. Randolph got 12 points in the first quarter. Two days ago, Ostenda hanging in this uh, game three match so far, showing their experience. They have plenty of it. Two free throws to come for Booth. If you've been following this series, you would have known that Phil Booth uh, missed out on game one because uh, he misplaced his international passport. He wasn't allowed to move from uh, Croatia to Bosnia on the journey over to game one. He gets uh, two free throws here. Five point game now. Last five points going the way of uh, the Belgian side. Ranenov, good drive. Uh, Van der Burst. Van Randolph, Conger. Ran into Dalic, Dako Dalic, I should say, that time. Fifteen seconds on the shot clock here. Gillet hands it off for Van der Verst. The alley oop. He wanted uh, Brimer to get up there. I don't think that was a shot from him. It was uh, floated up. Let's see it again. Well, Brimer couldn't get up. It uh, didn't end up in two points for Ostenda, but it's a second foul in quick succession for Darko Talic, the number 19. Sending Van der Verst to the line. He's uh, pretty good from this kind of range. Twenty-year-old Netherlands international, youngest player ever to play for the Netherlands when he made his debut at 16. Three-point game now. He gets his two free throws. Robinson, a little short on that one. And Ostenda will be feeling pretty good now. Back within striking distance. <laughs> well, Starks back in. And there. Fundic wanted uh, Starks to come to it. He provides a screen now. Starks goes round the back, finds the man in the corner, and that is a very good three points. Talic with it. Came at a good time. Ended a run of uh, seven points without reply for Ostenda. Conger. Well, the ball is stuck. 
Game three, though, proving to be a very good one so far. Demetrius Conger made uh, three out of four three-point shots on Tuesday, but we missed out here. Randolph, that was good. Doesn't look like a man who's uh, carrying an injury of any significance, really. He's already got 10 points, Levi Randolph. Four points in it now. Stefan Fundic back for Starks. That was a foul by Gillet. Subtle one, but uh, spotted by the officials. Just uh, lent into his man a little bit here. On his hips. Starks. Bounce pass for Fundic. And that would have been a big three. There is a foul underneath the glass. Mubarak. <laughs> We'll be happy. We'll be happier if uh, Nikola Tanaskovic, the star of game one, can uh, add to the points tally here. Tanaskovic getting 21 points in that 87 72 win at the Laktashi Sports Hall back on January 4th, but just into the game tonight. Unable to get. Either of his free throws, travelling by uh, Mikhail Jantunen that time. Another big man coming in off the bench, but another turnover for Ostende. Six already. Tanaskovic was a little slow to get going in game two. Just took his eye off the ball there. And uh, compounds the error there. Tanaskovic, foul on Jantanen. The Serbian holding up the Finland international. Two free shots for Jantanen. Had a great game domestically recently. Jantanen back on January 9th got 28 points against Liège. Gets two here. Tanaskovic, or Yoshilo rather, really testing Randolph. And uh, Randolph picks up his uh, second foul of the night. Now, two from five so far for Igor Kea from their free throws. That is better from Yoshilo. Much better. Four point lead again. Oh. 
Van der Verst guarded by Starks. Ten seconds left in this first quarter. Sends one in for Jantanen, difficult one. Did well, takes on the shot. And that will be that. Igor Kea have started this deciding game very well indeed. At one stage, they led by 10 points in the first quarter. But uh, in the end, Marko Alic will have to uh, be happy enough with a four-point lead. The team from Bosnia-Herzegovina. Well, they were the uh, better side for uh, much of that encounter, but punished a little. They are very physical, and uh, seven free throws from seven made by Ostenda in that first quarter. Let's take a look back at the uh, best plays. Igor Kea on the first possession. First basket came from uh, a local, Yoshino. And then it was uh, the American, Deshaun Stevens, getting the pass that time from Stark. Stevens has four points so far. Waller chipped in with a uh, three-pointer. He has uh, five points. Gilet responded. It was just uh, worth two. How about that? Running off with the pass. Robinson with the triple. James Robinson on five points for the night. And this was uh, his steal. And Van der Verst. Levi Randolph responding very well. What a series he's having. Ten points already. It's uh, a very good second half. Zako Talic in game two. He got a three-pointer there. Does have two fouls already in this game. The last play of that first quarter. Jantanen. A little unfortunate. Well, Starks is uh, getting a breather. Three assists already for the uh, number five. And he's on the ball at the start of this second quarter. If you are just joining us, this series tied at one apiece. Igoke of uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina up against Ostenda of Belgium. Winner takes all in game three. And that'll be three. Good start. Tenaskovic. And it's gone down as uh, just a two-pointer, in fact. Nonetheless, six-point lead for Igor Kea, not to be sniffed at. Great play. Van der Verst getting the pass to uh, Servas Boisard, who couldn't finish off. Starks fires the pass in, Fundic able to finish. Eight assists for Igor Kea. Starks has got five of them. And a burst. Just one assist for him so far. There's a three from Phil Booth. First of the game for him. Oh, there's a needless turnover. Panic having a word with uh, number 24, Waller, there. Starks on the ball. Waller was uh, set for a three point shot. Yoshilo back out on courts. Five points and two assists for the number 16 so far. A review of that last call being made right now.
Well, they will get there in the end, the officials. Every call important in this one. These two beating champions, San Pablo Burgos, in last season's Basketball Champions League. They've both won three and lost three in the group stage. Won one apiece in this series so far. The uh, head coach of Ostenda, Daniel Georgia, saying he felt his side, given all they've offered in the BCL this season, they deserved this uh, shot at game three. Wonder are they going back to uh, that three point attempt, or he thought it was a three point attempt, Tanaskovic, and uh, making sure it was uh, called correctly. It was given as two points. Was his foot on the line? Very hard to tell there. starts with uh, Van der Verst in possession. Still a five-point lead for Ego Kea. The Belgians, Ostenda, looking to uh, get a three of their own here, and that's uh, good shooting from Jantanen. Only for two, though. Waller, Tanaskovic back out to the wing. And Stender get the rebound. Booth for three, connects. Tie game. They can make run, they can make runs only by making those threes. We are helping them. Jab, jab, open shot. Corner three. Maybe that's the time. Let's play four. I want Markel. And this is Booth taking his Asa. tally for the evening up to eight points. Asa coming out, change side. Base out finding him. Slip, pick and roll. And Igor Kerr getting the opening four points of this quarter. You can right, can drive. Eight point run now Eagle. for Ostenda. And they are level for the first time since uh, Yoshilo made it 3-0 Igokea early in the first quarter. Starks. That's Halic. Starks, difficult attempt to take on. And good work by Stevens there, draws the foul. Well, Eagle Care did well in game two. They were 26 points down. And half time. I say they did well. They did well in the second half. Showed a bit of character, as uh, Talich said. Starks missing second consecutive shot. Haven't been taking too many on. 
in this game so far. And the crowd's gone a little bit quiet. Oh, good defending there, but uh, a little too vis physical. Nalibor Ilic, 21-year-old from Serbia, stopping uh, Basart from getting through. Besart, 22-year-old Belgian. Didn't have the best of games, it has to be said, on Tuesday night. And a few fouls laid on. And that's better. And extend the lead. Ten points without reply for the Belgian champions. Lots of time. But uh, unable to make it count, Igokea. They do get a second chance on this attack. It was Talic with the uh, three-point attempt. Ten points for him, including seven free throws on Tuesday. Here's Stevens. And he draws a foul this time from Conger. Stevens missed game one. The man from Los Angeles. And he misses his first free throw. I was playing with the Bakken Bears in Denmark last season. Nico Kea is 14th club since turning pro. Nico Kea get the rebound. Talic back to Starks. The pull up. That's his speciality, and that was much needed. First basket of the game for uh, Markel Starks. Third time lucky for him. Booth gets contact. Three fouls already for Talic. He was on translation duty in the uh, post-game press conference for uh, Milutin Latincic. He'll be uh, unable to uh, make his case to the officials there, but he's not happy. In foul trouble early in this crucial game. Three fouls for him. The 23-year-old takes a break. Three fouls for his team in this quarter. Jantunen, he looks in good touch, will stand the lead again. Starks, back for Stevens. Good spin, good finish. Here's Brimer. Gives it to Booth. Oh, look at that layoff, the finish from Brimer. That was wonderful from Phil Booth. Three assists for him now. The score's coming freely. Ranoff. Gets involved. Tie game again. Booth. He's having one of those nights. Into double figures. Starks for Stevens. Mid range. Way off target.
Stender suddenly lead by three. Booth skips inside his man, but not legally. He has eight points this quarter, Phil Booth. 11 points in total. Stevens has six now, the number 23. Frigo Kea, Robinson. Back out there and a good uh, first three minutes on court with five points. Stevens trying to shake off Brimer and he does so. Vanderburst for Brimer. Stevens. It was uh, called for a foul this time. Booth taking on Robinson. Nico Kea getting into uh, some problems here. Robinson with the uh, foul this time. Hey. Third free throw for Booth. First. And he has missed. Two point lead for Ostenda. Starks, the pull up. Those little moments can add up over the course of a night, can Ostenda? Further their advantage, not with uh, Starks around. Great steal. And he ran into traffic that time. This is a big learning curve for uh, Kai van der Verst coming up against such a uh, gifted player in Markel Starks. Stevens levels the game. Six assists for Starks, ten points for Stevens. Van der Verst for Conger. Didn't fool Radinov that time. And he ran out of time. Really good defending from Alexa Radinov. Everything going right for Conger on Tuesday. 11 minutes on court now. He's only managed one shot this evening. One foul, and that is his uh, first turnover as well. Nico Kea. And shifted the momentum again. Rananov for Stevens. He's enjoying his battle with Reimer, the number 23. He's uh, really getting about his work. That was brilliant again from Rananov. Starks. Well, would you believe it? Markel Starks has not taken a three point shot all series. He did there. And Igor Kea are back in front. Go on, Kim. Make a ball there, some fast that go on, Kim. 
We done using team fouls, getting baskets. Yeah, for me. Listen. <laughs> Zipper Spain. Come here, Kai. Phil, come off screen. Levi's oh, look at this. Radanov for Starks. Robinson back to Starks. Nails it. Five points and six assists for Markel Starks now. Well, you might have heard Georgia, the extender coach, giving out about the uh, lack of team fouls from his side. It was uh, an area he highlighted after game one, especially in uh, the third quarter, when uh, Igor Kea came from behind to lead by nine going into the uh, fourth quarter of game number one. You can see Ostenda had a foul to give before they started coughing up uh, free throws. Did well to work themselves into a lead in this second quarter, but they trail again. Brima called for traveling. This is a seven-point run for Igor Kea. Could have been nine there. Radanov and Phil Hart done by. Randolph pulls up. Good grab. Illich got that rebound. Starks. Feeding uh, Fundic. And he gets two. And this is a really strong finish to the uh, second quarter for Igo Kea. Said it was a seven point run. Forgot about the uh, one free throw that Booth got. But it is a uh, run of nine points to one for Igor Kea. But a foul by Starks gives uh, Kai Van der Verst a chance. He's now made all three foul shots that he's taken. Cool customer. Three points between the sides. Crucial play coming up. Final minute of this first half. Sigo Kea. Going to uh, get this attack just right. Day for that. We go two for one. We go two for one. I want Markel on the ball. I want Markel on the ball. I want Alexa. I want James. Day. Funda. We go four three. Slow down just a bit. Clip it. Have your screen set. Flare on Taze, man. Try to beat him. Try to beat him. If they help here, they they pass and go. Hey, if two men on you, pass it to Taze. Well, not surprisingly, Marco Balic says he wants Markel Starks on the ball. Five points, six assists key player tonight, like most nights for Igor Kea. Let's watch out for uh, Tay Waller as well, because uh, the number 24 
could be involved here. Starks pulls up, gets his two. Vanderwurst in for Conga. Up against Waller. Nice pass for Brimer. He was fouled by Radanov. Good play, Conga. It's the man from Accra, Namida Brahima, with uh, two foul shots. Can't make the first. 27 year old joined Ostenda in November, was playing in uh, Puerto Rico. Averaged uh, 12 points and nine rebounds, close to three blocks per game in his couple of months there. Brahma did get 17 points and two blocks in game two. And he's got three points now, as well as uh, two rebounds. Robinson stripped almost. Can they get a shot away? Waller, not a bad one to try. But uh, it's as you were after uh, quarter number one. 21 points apiece in the second quarter. It is an intriguing encounter between these two. It is hard fought. And at the break, Igor Kea lead by four points against Ostenda in game three, the deciding match of this play-in series. Stats are pretty even. Igor K giving up a lot of free throws. They are the most physical side in the league. Six offensive rebounds, though, for the uh, home side. Four steals as well. Ten turnovers already for uh, Ostenda. Just three for Igor K. Some of the best plays. Well, Tanaskovic got what uh, counted for two. He was hoping for three. Everyone chipping in. Rigo Kea, Phil Booth doing a lot of good work for Ostenda. 12 points for him, leading scorer in the game. He has four assists as well. And Jantanen has six points. Kailan Verst. Seeing a lot of minutes, Booth has uh, three three-pointers from three attempts. Get it to Phil Booth, especially if he's free like he was there. Starks, sensational performance from him. Seven points, six assists, two steals as well for the number five. And the first clever pass that time out to Jantanen. And then the first has three assists. Starks seeing up uh, Stevens, who is uh, dominating his battle with Brimer for the moment. And it's, uh, Booth with some uh, brilliant play setting up Brimer, but it's Nego uh, Kea. Number 23, Deshaun Stevens, who has uh, 10 points, three rebounds so far. Robinson has been useful as well. The number eight, five points in the first quarter. Stevens really came to the fore in the second quarter. It's 
It's been a really good battle. Very tight. Watch this bit of play from Radanov. Not the first time in the game. Spectacular pass from him. Spectacular finish from Markel Starks. All the talk was about how he had not taken a three-point attempt all series. Coming into this one. Fundic getting a handy two there. And there's the pull-up again. Super performance from Starks, albeit he has missed three shots as well from the field. Waller missing out right at the death, but Igor Kea in a good position here at the halfway stage, leading 43 points to 39. Top scorer in the game, a man who missed the first match between these sides on January 4th at this venue, Phil Booth. Well, he was linked to the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, played a lot of uh, G League basketball in the NBA Development League. He's been very good. And he is the leading scorer in the game. So Booth has uh, 12 points to Sean Stevens. 10 points for him, three rebounds as well, looking uh, much better this evening. He averages over 11 points and eight rebounds per game in the uh, BCL this season, does Deshaun Stevens. At half time, his side, Igor Kea, lead by four, the second half coming up very shortly.
huge second half to come in Laktashi. Marco Malac, happier of the two coaches at the moment. If you are just joining us, it is uh, game three in the play-in series between Eagle Kea and Filu Ostenda. Eagle Kea leading 43 points to 39. They led by four after the first quarter. And they lead by four going into the uh, second half as well. And they are a very strong third quarter team. Averaging well over 20 points per game in the third quarter of matches in the BCL. Ostenda have the uh, first attack of this third quarter. Djordjevic, their captain, back out there. Brahma is the uh, number 25. Tough battle for him, being guarded by Stevens. There's a steal, Starks grabbing it from Djordjevic. Mario Djordjevic, the Estenda coach, turned away there, he couldn't believe it. Third steal of the night for Starks. Waller for three, great start for Igor Kea. Brimer for Booth. Back for Brimer, held on well. And he was fouled in the end. Really aggressive, tough defending as usual from Igor Kea. The home side from Bosnia Herzegovina, but uh, this time a little too forceful. The number 12, Alexa Radanov. Palermo missed one of his two free throws late in the second quarter. He has missed the first of two here. He did say that uh, he felt his side were ready for this game and that the presence of some supporters could even help the away side. Stender didn't have uh, the benefit the last day of any supporters due to uh, COVID restrictions when they had home court advantage. Here's Stevens up against Prime again. Rare mistake from him tonight. Randolph, Booth. That's the first shot from distance that he has missed all night. He had made three three-pointers before that. Almost a steal. Works out for Ostenda in any case. Travelling by uh, Radanov. Barac seeking an explanation, the assistant coach of uh, Igor Kea, who has been in charge for this series with uh, Lagan Bayic. Still recovering. Djordjevic, 38 years of age now, the uh, number 20. Here's Booth. Randolph, really good. Levi Randolph timing his run well and producing the fifth basket of the night. 12 points for him. Stevens is free. And he was fouled by Brimer. Three turnovers for uh, Brimer this evening. He's finding it tough against Stevens. Stevens, though, is uh, finding it tough 
from the line. That's three from three. He has missed. I think that four. Well, the one area of his game that has been disappointing tonight. Ten points, four rebounds for uh, Diego Kea, number 23. Booth into the paints, into trouble. Bad enough. It was a turnover, but Phil Booth has been uh, called for a foul as well for a trip. I felt he might have been tripped on the way through by Starks, but that decision goes Igor Kea's way. Low scoring third quarter so far, three points apiece. Starks gets the screen. Oh, what a finish! What quick thinking from Dalibor Ilic. Sent up by Starks and Ilic on the follow up. Fouled as well. Chance to add one here. 16 minutes on courts. Lich now has three points to his name, and the home side lead by seven. Booth finds Randolph in the corner, fouled by Radanov. Booth and Randolph keeping a stand in this game. Booth is uh, not having it all his own way like he did in the second quarter. Starks, pick and roll. Waller is free, and Waller makes three. Tay Wallace having a really good night. That's uh, three triples he has knocked down from six attempts. Extend a timeout, they trail by 10. You're taking stacks, okay? You have Waller, you have Radano. Hey, next one, Chin. We don't move the ball, we are stuck. If we have a drive, please move, cut behind, do something. We too stuck on the spot, hey. Then we create only shot, hey. When you screen, try to die once, okay. If they ice us, pop, or a dog can play as we talk about. Hey, here, Spain pick and roll, 10 times safe. Now he goes into the screen. That means Amida, you stick with your man. This is guard, guard, switch, weak side in. Guard, guard, switch, and we switching out. And that was the three from Waller. Not enough with the assist on that one. Georgia is also head coach of Belgium. Three times Belgian League coach of the year. Tied to the club until 2025. He, uh, does look like a man that is getting increasingly concerned. We'll stand up his side, down 10 points. Oh, that's a bad pass by Gillet, and Stevens will punish him. Seven steals for Igor Kea. Here goes uh, Randolph. Wanted a foul. Hey, hey, hey. 
Randolph. The fadeaway. Gannett by Illich. Eight points without reply for Igor Kea. Radanov, the freedom of the courts, but he doesn't take advantage. Randolph, round the back, good layup. Game one, Nigel Kea outscored Ostenda 29-17 in the third, and they are running right again in this third quarter. alley -oop. Starks and Stevens, what a combination tonight. Third foul for Waller. Has to be careful, that's why he's leaving the court right now. Five fouls and you are done for the night. 12 points though, is the advantage for Igor Kea, their uh, biggest lead in this game. Randolph from Alabama, now that's nice. And it was uh, Alice Bratanovic, who's just recovered from COVID, just on court, and he's already got two points. Starks travelled. That looked uh, the right call. Well, he put a foot wrong there, which is uh, not something we've been able to say too often tonight. Seven points for Starks. Eight assists, three steals. Gilet to Randolph. Aggressive defending once more from Igor Kea. Fundic with the black mark this time. First foul of the game for him. Well, Starks has been out on court for 22 minutes. Well-earned break for him, but a chance maybe for Ostenda to build up a head of steam. Gilet to Djordjevic. Just about got through to Gilet again. Five seconds on the shot clock. Stender do get a second chance here. Plenty of time left. It is uh, a bit of a hole they're in at the moment, but the Belgians do have uh, 14 minutes left in the game. Randolph on the drive, gets two points. 16. This evening for Levi Randolph. Robinson, Vitalic, Yoshilo, Fundic, turnaround. Doesn't come off for him. Conger driving at the basket, gets two points. Really good spell this for the stender. Six points without reply. Well, that's why Igor Kea have called a timeout. Hello, we are, we are having two players running back. And he scores one against two. Easy points. 
if they play Spanish with four men. We switch ball screen and we take the big with the four. Our point guard stays in the slot. Okay, if they play Spanish with four men setting, setting Spanish screen. Let's try two back screen for Sean. Do we know the play? Two, pick and roll, Tane, Tala, pass to Sean, James back door, Marek, hand off, pass to Tane, back screen to Sean. Ayman. Levi Randolph has been uh, very influential in this third quarter for Ostenda, as he has been all season. Six points for him. The number two averaging over 17 points in the BCL this season. He has uh, 16 points so far tonight. Got uh, 17 points on his last visit to this venue a couple of weeks back. He got 21 points back home in Belgium for game two. Tigo Kea on the attack. Tanaskovic for Robinson. Time running out for him. And they've got the rebounds. Randolph getting it to Djordjevic, the Serbian. Randolph assessing his options here. Djordjevic sending it for Bratanovic. Well, it's uh, something of a return home for Hannes Bratanovic. His uh, parents are from Bosnia-Herzegovina, so a big evening for him. He's made a big impact off the bench. Djordjevic fouls. Eight and O run for Ostenda. They have tightened this game up. And Starks didn't get uh, much chance to rest. Robinson out. Markel Starks in. And Georgia will be hopeful again. Georgievich has three fouls. He's still out there though. Not being protected at this stage. Foul for Conger now. That's a fourth of this quarter for Ostenda. Fourteen fouls apiece. Starks finds Talic. And he finds Tanaskovic. Fouled by Gilet. Discipline has to be good now. Getting to the crunch time for both these sides in the Basketball Champions League this season. Tanaskovic has missed two foul shots so far. Makes this one. Seven-point advantage for Igor Kea. Randolph trying to wriggle free. Needs some help. Conger into the paint. Back out to Randolph. Good movement. Good finish. Igo Kea looking to respond. And they're a little bit unlucky there because uh, Darko Talic connected from outside. Foul was called beforehand. In fact, it was an offensive foul as well. So Starks giving. Ostenda a chance to get even closer. Six 
16 points apiece in this quarter. Randolph for Djordjevic. What a time for Dusan Djordjevic to get on the boards. A three-pointer as well, his first score of the game. One point between the sides. Starks, the main man for Igor Kea tonight. Final minute of a really exciting third quarter. Gile for three, doesn't make it, no chance of a rebound. Starks, what a pass out to Talic. Overcooks it, but Igor Kea still have it. Starks for Tanaskovic this time. Five on the shot clock. Starks goes alone. Misses. Last play of the third quarter. Randolph, wonderful play. One point between the sides going into the final quarter. Obratanovic got six points in the third. Randolph, nine. Those two combining for the final basket of a uh, very exciting third quarter. At one stage, remember, in this third quarter, Igor Kea led 56-44. It's now 61-60. Great comeback. Brilliant comeback from Ostenda, but they are still behind in this deciding match. Well, at halftime, it was 43-39 uh, in favor of Igor Kea. Tay Waller getting them off to a uh, really good start. And Randolph was the uh, player who really hauled Ostenda back into it. Starks got a bit of a break in the... Uh, third quarter and when he did Ostenda were able to get back into it and we saw a nice finish from uh, Dalibor Illich then it was uh, second three pointer of that third quarter for Waller the steal from Stevens made it 56 44 and that was when Bratanovic and Randolph stepped up to the plate for Ostenda Six points in five minutes on court for Harris Bratanovic, the uh, number 16. Here we go then. Now or never for Igor Kea and Ostenda. Ten minutes to go. It will be the final ten minutes in the BCL for one of these sides this season. The other, the winner, will go through to the round of 16. Stevens back out there. Into the paint. And uh, he gave Brimer a bit of a lesson earlier tonight. He's uh, doing likewise for Bratanovic. A real handful is to Sean Stevens. Remember, though, he has missed four from four from his free throws.
Well, finally, a bit of luck for uh, Stevens. He is uh, 60 percent from the free throw line for the season. That is uh, one from six for the night. Apart from those problems, he has been excellent. 15 points for him. Two point lead for Igor Kea. Djordjevic! Well, he's rolling back the years, the veteran. We're level. Here's Waller. Oh, very good. 13 points for Tay Waller. Jantanen is back. Here's Bratanovic. Looks to Conger. And that was a clear foul by Stevens. Three fouls now for Stevens. This side lead by two. George Rich is out. Van der Wurst, who had a difficult time in the first half. He's back in. Had a good game two. He's lost it there, though. Fast break, Tanaskovic to finish. Robinson with the pass, Tanaskovic finishing off. And the fast break working out well. Fouled as well. Well, that's a real blow for uh, Filu Ostenda. And if they are to lose tonight, they will look back at that turnover count. 14. Eight steals. For Igor Kea, five point lead for them now. Van der Verst get some help from Bratanovic. And it's uh, not working out for the number six tonight. The 20 year old has uh, four points, all from the uh, free throw line. Three turnovers to go with uh, three assists, and uh, he is withdrawn. Stevens. Oh, that was a really good bit of play. Seven in it with eight minutes to play. Listen, listen, listen. We cannot sell the basketballs like this. From which we're getting points on the other side easy. Hey. They are on every denial pass. So we really need to get open right way. You understand? Hey, go with the flash again. Read, they have a two guards. Hey, go, 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 uh, fill with the flash, with the, with the pass, and then skip here, okay? Hey, this is class from Stevens. For Mitch. Mitch for Six Lopo. foot eight, but very graceful there. No Nimble. Going out for top pick and, roll. and clever. Okay, you cannot, you follow. And look to attack of the catch, okay? Hey, hey. Let's go, Red. Hey, come on, let's go. Come on, Red. Let's go, Red. Well, Ostenda, second best attack in the Basketball Champions League this season. Averaging 84 points per game. It's, uh, it's been a great defensive effort from Igokea, forcing lots of mistakes 
from the Belgians. Booth getting it to Antonin. George Chov and the first off is Randolph. And they get the rebound. Ten seconds on the shot clock as uh, Booth gets it to Conger. Phil Booth was fouled though. Ferocious defending from the home team, but this time the call goes against Robinson. Randolph. Oh, the pass was just a little bit too high for Jantanen. Not sure he was quite ready for it either. Sixteen turnovers for Ostenda. Just seven for Igokea. Radanov. Stevens. We need to hurry up here. Tanaskovic. That's a stroke of luck for Ostenda. Seven points in the game. They could do with a basket from Booth here. Conger has a look at the shot clock. Backs into Waller. And another attack leads to nothing for the Belgian champions. It's getting very worrying for them right now. Conger was so good on Tuesday. 20 points. Just two points tonight. Two assists as well for the number one. Waller finds Stevens very easy in the end. Nine ish. They are pulling away. They go, Kaya. Conger, two men on him. The Antonin, much needed. Was it three? It was. That shut the crowd up a little bit. Stevens, super confident right now. The fadeaway. Gathered by Tanaskovic. Two chances. Not taken by Igor Kea. Booth finding Conger. He was hauled to the ground by Waller that time. It's been a good tussle between those two in this fourth quarter. Four fouls for Waller now. Tanaskovic making a very good contribution. Ten points. Waller with uh, 13 points. He goes off as well. Only three team fouls for Igokea. They've been uh, in your face, but disciplined so far. Booth, very good. Back to back threes. Ostenda are not done yet. Radanov up against Djordjevic. Now it's Illich. Radanov might have to go it alone here. Well, Igor Kea's attack is uh, falling to pieces at the wrong moment. Booth. Ostenda sensing they're back in the game all of a sudden. Booth for three. He's made it! Oh, 
Three triples in a row for Ostende. The Belgian champions draw to within two. Phil Booth has got the last two three-pointers in double quick time. 18 points for him, two-point game. Just not three after three, just not three after three. Give me three special, three special. Georgievich, Georgievich to defend this guy, okay? I want Georgievich defending this guy. Pass, stand off, be there on time, and set the Spanish pick and roll. Try to be aggressive and read the defense. No threes anymore. Well, Phil Booth, no the 25-year-old uh, from Baltimore. Maryland, this is first overseas experience this season. He was a star at college level for uh, Villanova in Pennsylvania, won the NCAA championship twice, scored 20 points in the 2016 title game. Since then, with the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers in the Summer League, Capital City Go Go and Oklahoma City Blue in the NBA G League. Right now, he is hoping to continue the comeback for Ostenda. Starks, though, the man you'd want on the ball if you're an Igokea fan. Yoshilo up against Booth. Starks gets free. Oh, they ran out of time. Well, they were almost home. They led by nine. Ostenda looked beaten. Led by 11, in fact, at 73-62. Uh, Conger is free. Conger is fouled. Well... Ostenda have won the last 10 Belgian league titles. They have a very experienced team. Congress 31. Djordjevic is out there, or was out there, still out there, in fact, at 38. Booth finally misses one. That would have put the Belgians in front. Starks for Stevens. Oh, what a block! A key block so late in the game. Georgievich. Booth again. Oh, it's uh, another turnover for Ostenda. Well, this was a huge moment. Sprimer keeping out Illich. Starks. Nine points, nine assists. Waller. Off the rim. Foul on Brimer by Stevens. Well, Ostenda have the uh, tallest team in the BCL, averaging uh, six foot seven, two meters in height. And one of those tall men. Brimer at six foot ten is unable to get a key point. He will have a second chance. Back to within one.
This is the deciding game in the series. Starks, brilliant from Booth. Ostenda have the chance to go in front. They have not been in front very often in this game. It has been Igor Kea all the way. Apart from a spell in the second quarter. Booth. Oh, it's worked out for him somehow. Oh, what a tough shot to give Ostenda the lead. Twenty points for Booth. Starks. Stevens was fouled. <laughs> I don't need to remind you if you have been watching that Deshaun Stevens has had a tough time from the free throw line. One from six. He won't get a chance now because the Stender have three team fouls. Waller misses out. Oh, there you go, Kea. What have you done? Randolph into traffic. Djordjevic, two points, three-point lead for Philo Ostenda. We're into the final 90 seconds. Booth, I'm sure he knew that was the one foul that Ostenda had left to give. No free shots on this one. Ten seconds on the shot clock. It starts round the back. The layup is missed. Brimer gets the rebound. Ostenda will slow things down. Randolph. Oh, every shot now is uh, landing for Ostenda. They are pulling clear. Come on, I'm going to Hello, hello. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Good, five points, let's go. 18 points to 12. Ostenda have outscored Igor Kea. Get the ball here. Marco, let Markel inside. Then set the screen for him. Open a Spanish ball screen. Set it. What a play from Randolph. Absolutely brilliant. Levi Randolph matching his tally from Tuesday in game two. 21 points for the number two. Phil Booth has 20. Those two accounting for 41 points out of Ascenders total of 78. Starks into the final minute, 40 seconds on the clock, five points to make up. Waller has to make this, but what a great bit of defending again. Getting across was Brimer. Oh, what way has this goal gone? Not good for Ostender by the look of it. Oh, was it the follow-through, perhaps? Brimer got a hand to the shot. Then he uh, fell into Waller, took him out of the game. He's come up with some big moments in this fourth quarter, the Ghanaian. This one going against him. Could have been worse, of course, at... Uh, 
It ended up in three points. Starks, though, misses. Is that the final hope for Igor Kayagon? Foul by Radanov. They have no choice now. They know that Phil Booth will go uh, back up courts and have two free shots, but Nigo Kea need a lot of luck to go their way now. Phil Booth, the 25-year-olds uh, from Baltimore. Up to 21 points, he has six assists as well. Two huge three-pointers in this final quarter, turning the tide. And two free throws from Booth as well, making uh, absolutely sure, you'd imagine, A turnaround in this game. Igor Kea leading from the off. They trailed 35-32 and 36-34 in the second quarter. But apart from that, the team from Bosnia Herzegovina at home in this deciding game. They were leading all the way. They led 56 44 in the third quarter and 73 62 in this final quarter. Starks and Adenov. Two points will help they need a lot of help right now the home team <laughs> 18 point run for Ostenda in this final quarter it came to an end with that Radonov basket but here we are again, deja vu. Booth with a couple of free throws, puts the first one away. And makes the second as well. Seven from eight from the foul line for the number five. And Starks, his influence waning a little bit, no doubt. He tired, 30 minutes on court. A bit like game two, Markel Starks could not do it all alone. Ran into a red wall there. Starks will finish with nine points and ten assists. And Levi Randolph, well, he can uh, improve on Tuesday now. 21 points in the game two win in Belgium. A game that Ostenda had to win. 1-0 down in the series. He's got 21 points tonight in game three. Make that 22. Waller, good shot, but uh, too little, too late for Igor Kea. It's a five-point win for Ostenda. They looked dead and buried at one stage in this final quarter, but a sensational comeback has seen the Belgian champions through to the round of 16. Two games to one, and they take this play-in series they lost the first game in Laktashi. They returned 
for game three and one. 83-77. They will join Unikaha and Cluj Napoca in a Group K of the round of 16. Igo Kea say goodbye to the BCL for another season. And what a tough way to go. With a full house, it might have been different. Igo Kea. All their fans pushed them and helped them get into a healthy lead. They dominated so much of this game. Ostende were right up against it, but the key stage, they hit three triples in a row. Jantanen and then Booth with a couple. Ten offensive rebounds for Igor Kea, but it is Ostende who end up winning. Phil Booth, 24 points, five three-pointers. Stevens, the top scorer for the uh, local side with 19. Such a painful defeat for them. Well, this has been a sensational night for Ostenda, an incredible comeback. Georgievic was targeted early on. He got his very first basket of the game late in the third quarter. And he came up with a couple of key scores in the fourth as well. Waller, well, he didn't do much wrong. 15 points, including uh, three from beyond the arc. Tanaskovic, the number 10. Perigo Kea off the bench got 10 points. To Sean Stevens, 19 points and five rebounds. Five missed free throws, though. Seven three-pointers from nine attempts. Eight free throws from 17 attempts for Igokea. They had the chances, especially when Ostenda had 20 turnovers in the game. Nine steals for Igokea. And they looked like they were on their way to Naskovic putting Igokea 73-62 in front, but then Jantanen got a three. Phil Booth. He got one as well. And this was when it all started to go wrong. Booth. The look was changing. That made it 73 71. Three. Three pointers in a row. This was a really tough shot from Booth. And that put Ostenda in front, 74 73. Djordjevic followed up quickly. The Belgian side's captain. And Randolph, another great night for him. Another tough shot made. Five point lead, 78 73. And that was when you felt that the game was well and truly gone for Igor Kea. Starks getting it to Radanov, that was 75-80, but even at that stage, time was against Igor Kea. And finished off with what was uh, just a two-pointer for Waller. 18-point run without reply for Ostenda in that final quarter. An incredible turnaround. But they are one of the top scoring teams in the BCL and they somehow managed to book a place in the round of 16. Really tough night for Igor Kea, a great one for Ostenda. The Belgians go through to the last 16. From myself, Mark Rodden, it's goodbye for now.